Hello friends, Shelly here, the Youth and Family Program Coordinator, and I'm here to share with you today our daily Bible reading from our Taking Faith Home Toolkit that we're using to practice and grow our faith together each and every day. If you have a Bible nearby, why don't you go ahead and grab it and you can follow along as I read. Um, before we start, just a reminder that our theme for this week is Greatness is About Serving Others. And for Thursday, our Bible reading comes from Acts chapter 9, and it's verses 10 through 19. In Damascus, there was a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision, Ananias, yes, Lord, he answered. The Lord told him, go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a, na a man from Taurus named Saul, for he is praying. In a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. Lord, Ananias answered, I have heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the chief priests to arrest all who call on your name. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Then Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized and after taking some food, he regain, regained his strength. So that's kind of an interesting story. It didn't really sound like Ananias wanted to be the servant and go help um, Saul. It sounded like he was kind of concerned about Saul's behavior. So maybe we can think about that in terms of our own life, um, those places where we maybe can serve but we're not too sure about the people that we're serving. I think what was important there was God was saying, yeah, even though this person might not seem like a, a good person that you should spend effort and time and love on, um, even, because, even though they seem that way, maybe there are cases where God really wants us to serve them. And so I think that's something for us to maybe take away from this message today, that the people that we serve don't always have to be our friends or the people that we agree with or who we think are behaving the way we think they should. What's important to God is that we serve everybody, even those like Saul that we maybe aren't too sure about. That'd be an interesting thing to talk about today. If you get a chance, maybe you can talk with somebody nearby, a family member or a friend or a neighbor, and um, talk about the idea of what it's like to serve people that we don't really think are very good people. Um, and maybe talk about what that means where we're judging somebody and we really shouldn't be judging somebody. Those would be really great things to sit down and talk about a little bit and what our Bible verse might be telling us about it. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I will see you all again really soon.